Offshore Wind Farm Dan Tursk, foundation installation. 90 kilometers off the coast of Germany in the North Sea, Vattenfall and Stadtwerke Munich are building the Dan Tursk Offshore Wind Farm. 80 wind turbines with a total capacity of 288 megawatts will provide up to 400,000 households with green electricity. Esbjerg, Denmark. The harbour here is the hub for the loading of components destined for the wind farm. Vattenfell Surveillance Centre is also located here. It's from here that the company controls all its turbines across Europe. My name is Olaf Beek and I'm the responsible package manager within the team of Vattenfall for the Dantus project and I'm responsible for the foundation works and all civil engineering in the team. I witness the operations and uh, I'm controlling that everything is according to contract and according to specifications. On each trip the vessel can transport a total of four foundation sets consisting of a monopile and a transition piece. So the components we will have to handle is uh, the size is very very big and uh, very heavy components, uh, monopiles uh, have a weight of 650 tons and the TPs, the yellow ones on the background, have a weight of nearly 300 tons. The Dentusk offshore wind farm, situated 70 kilometers west of the island of Zylt and directly on the German-Danish border, will be one of the first large-scale offshore wind farms ever to be built in the German North Sea. In order to install the wind turbines safely and securely in water that is between 21 and 32 meters deep, the foundations are anchored 40 meters into the seabed. Monopiles are the most efficient foundation structure for the conditions of the Dan Tusk wind farm. We are out here to build 80 foundations, but during construction it's a big challenge to handle the, the harsh forces of the environment. On average, it takes 90 minutes to drive each monopile into the seabed. To protect sensitive harbour porpoises, the engineers are working with and testing new technologies to reduce noise levels. Here they're using what's called a bubble curtain, consisting of three rings of air bubbles around the foundation. They have proven to be an effective way of mitigating the noise for the needs of the Dantusk wind farm. Experiences gained in the Dantos project will contribute to the learning curve of future offshore wind projects. My name is Martin Tappe, I'm a package manager for the Civil Package and the Sandpark project. Uh, we are here because Wattenfall believes that the renewable energy is the future and so therefore we, we actually think that the offshore wind is a big part of, of renewables uh, in the coming future. When the foundation has been driven into the seabed, the transition piece, a connecting element with the turbine tower, is placed on top. The transition piece has electrical installations inside and a landing stage outside to permit safe access from the sea. What is new on offshore wind is to get set up some kind of serial production, but we are on a very good way to get all these huge amount of foundations and wind farms out in the sea. To stabilize the two foundation elements, an underbase grouting is used to provide evenly distributed support to the offshore structures for the next 25 years. In order to connect the monopile with the transition piece, the gap between the components is filled with high-strength concrete known as grout. The final phase of foundation installation was successfully completed in December 2013. Dentusk is a major contributor to Vattenfall's strategy of being a leader in the development of environmentally sustainable energy production.